Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how we can convert number two words using Microsoft Word. We will explain you how you can do it automatically also using macros. So let me show you. Let's say we have some number here and we quickly want to convert into words. I have added a macro in the developer tab this number two word I can simply click here after selecting this and you can see it has converted into word you can quickly convert your number two text you can just type your number select and click on number two words automatically it will convert number two words immediately let me show you once again select and click alright so let me explain you from the starting how we can achieve this and how we can add this type of button in any tab first of all what we will do we will learn how we are converting the number to word here so let's say I have this number one number 343 and I want to convert this to word so what will be the manual step Let's select this first and then press Ctrl F9. Okay, just follow the simple step. Just press Ctrl F9. As you press the Ctrl F9, it will add the curly bracket before your number and after your number. All right. Now here we will put the equal to sign. Next step is before your number, and then the next step is put the backslash. This slash after your number and put the asterisk sign and then put here card text all right that's it now you can press f9 or you can right click and say update field as you click on update field automatically your number will be converted to word so here you can see it is showing 343 the same thing we can do with another number whatever we have now this time to make it automate what we will do we will record a macro how we can record a macro first of all let me explain you what is macro so friends macro is a VBA code visual basic for application code which can help you to automate your task whatever work you are doing repeatedly the same work we can put it in a VBA code first of all we will go to the view tab and here we have macros button and here you can go to the view macros this is the macro which I have already created but I will explain you step by step how can you create from the starting so rather than going to the view macro just click on record macro okay now here you can name your macro so let's say I am putting my macro to convert to box you can keep any name don't use the space there okay now here you can decide you want to keep in the all document or only in this document so I am saying I want to keep in all document you can assign it to the button or you can assign it to the keyboard so let's say I want to assign it to the button so you can create the button wherever you want to assign or we will assign it to later on okay for now I'm just recording so recording has been started now let's select this range and then press F9 we are repeating all the step which we have done above so that macro will capture it all right so now let's press Control F9 first now press equal to here then after this text press this backslash and put asterisk sign then type here card text okay then press F9 to get the output or you can right click and update field okay so I'm getting the output here now we can stop the macro recording to stop it we, you can see this macro is currently recording and you can just stop it or you can go to the Mac again in the view tab and you can say stop recording recording has been stopped now you can go to the macros again and you can say view macro so it is showing all macros so this is the macro we just have created you can go to the step info to see the code and we are seeing here that code so this is the macro which we have created right and here all the steps are captured now only thing is that count of the characters is 4 as we have taken the 4 character number here but this will work only with 
the numbers which have four characters. We want to make it dynamic. So here you can see I have used this one variable. You can simply copy this variable and let's paste this here. We are taking the character count as integer and character count equal to selection dot characters count. And here in place of this four, we will use this character count. So it is dynamic now. Let's stop this and close this. Now let's type any number four digit, five digit and select that number. Go to the macros. We have created this macro, right? So let's run this. You can see it is showing the output. Now I'll show you how you can add the button. Let's say I want to add a button on the home tab after this editor. You can right click anywhere on home tab or any tab. Right click and go to the customize. And here you can select wherever you want to insert that button. Let's say I want to insert in the home tab. Okay, expand that. And after the editor, just add a new group. Okay, you can rename that group rename and let's say I want to put the group name as PK but you can keep whatever name you want you can select any icon if you want to select any icon there let's say I'm selecting this one and then you can select here in place of popular command just select here macros in the macro we are seeing two macros this is the macro we just have created this macro I have earlier created so select the latest macro and click on add that macro has been added here but this name is very long so you can right click and rename this you can make it short like number two word okay this will be displayed to the user and you can select any icon relevant icon here let's say i'm putting this calculator icon for now and click on ok in the home tab you can see we have new pk group and we have number two word now let's enter any number here and select that and click here you can see it has converted that successfully small number okay select this number here you can see so it is working perfectly all right friends so that is how you can create this macro to convert number to word friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching